We love all things griddle cooking and we've been doing it now for a long time. Recently, we started cooking a lot on Pipos' Ceramic Top Ultimate Griddle. Mm -hmm. One of the key questions we get asked all the time is, which, which is better? better? And which do we prefer? Yep. You wanna find out some key takeaways we've had from working with both steel and ceramic griddles? Stick around while we dig, dig in. in. It has been probably the biggest question we've been asked since we've been doing griddle cooking, specifically on the Pit Boss uh -huh. Ultimate and Sierra Griddles. Yep, the ceramic The top. ceramic, mm -hmm. which is better. And with a lot of new people joining the griddling world because it is griddle season, yes. it's June, and these things start flying off the shelves, we thought, you know what, we'd have a one-stop shop, kind of hopefully answer all the questions you may have about which is better and why. Yep. And we may have the best solution for you, yes. our personal preference. That said, Brent, Let's dive, dig into it. What are some of the key things that we love about the steel unit? Okay, well, the steel unit, first of all, man, this thing is a beast. Yeah. It can take on anything. We've said it before, we'll say it again. It can do anything a grill can do and a million things that it can't. You, like from smash burgers to breakfast cooks to our hibachi. Wait a minute, all... you're telling me you can't smash a burger on a grill? Try making a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was right through the grill grates. It's making some pancakes. No, you're not. Right. That, absolutely. Like Brett said, those smash burgers. And, and also, and this is an argument, a, a point of argumentation. Yep. We prefer our steaks on the griddle. In fact, a lot of steakhouses, top end steakhouses, won't let a flame touch the steak. Exactly. In fact, when people say what's the best way to do it, they do a reverse sear. They baste it in a pan. We can do that right Garlic on butter. the grill. Yep. Now, to get specifically to steel, like you said, because uh, you you asked me, I said, yep. that's for all griddles, by the way. Yes. You can make pancakes yep. and smash that's burgers absolutely. on all grill, griddles. I, I, I have a preference of the steel. Brett prefers the ceramic. That said, the yep. preferences are so minute, it could <laughs> go either way. Yes. Now, the reason I love the steel unit is there's some nostalgia to it, a little bit of like care and maintenance. That said, when you get down to it, it's not as tough as you think. Some of it where I uh, used to... Uh, the unit is tough. Yes, just I'm cooking sorry. your... The, the, Yes, yes the taking care of maintenance yeah. isn't that tough. Correct. The units are spectacular. Yep. The steel, that's why they continue to sell so well because year after year they're going to perform. You're going to deal with some rusting and other things, which is where the care and maintenance comes into, mm -hmm. into effect. But that's where taking care of your griddle really is key. Making sure you have oil on during cooks and after cooks. I have learned actually using less and less oil for cooks. Man, back when we started, you one, two, three, we 12 were slinging oil like we were a gas station. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> reals. And we were using a ton of oil for cooks. I started realizing after using the ceramic, uh -huh. less actually goes a long way, especially with things like smash burgers, because if I don't have oil when I'm smashing the burger, it's gonna adhere a little bit more, get an easier stick uh, for a Maillard reaction. Now, uh, overall, the steel unit, I love. I love the maintenance, the care, the metal utensils. That's a big hit oh, yeah. point uh -huh. for a lot of people using the metal utensils. They feel great in the hand. You're able to scrape without having to worry about damaging the griddle, which we wouldn't for either, but I'll let Brett talk about the ceramic in just a minute. Yep. But if you're looking for an overall tough, solid unit, steel is good. You, there is a learning curve. It's different from working on a grill. Yep. So you do have to learn a few things, but maintenance is key. We've got a ton of videos to show how to take care of your griddle, what you need to do for cooking, temperatures to use, which we always say start medium low and bring your temps up. It's always easier to increase temperature than to lower temple your temperature. You're dealing with a heat surface. It's basically like Brett always says, you need a heat source, you need someone to cook food, and you need Eat the food. food. And uh, the griddle can knock out anything. So Brett, talk about some of the key things with the ceramic that make it such a hot selling point. Okay, and, and uh, the one thing we compare the ceramic to is just like when you cook inside, when you're gonna grab the cast iron or the ceramic, for most people, at least most people that we know, eight out of 10 times they're grabbing the ceramic. And I appreciate and love this unit so much. Uh -huh. It's clean up is the number one reason why I like it so much. Soap and water, wipe it right off. And well, I, eggs. eggs is the number one thing to cook on these things because and they just they move slide, around. you can play hockey across. It's like an ice skating rink. And if I can interject, Brett said uh, the cleanup is the number one favorite thing. Uh, cooking food is the number one well, favorite thing, but uh, ease of use and you, cleanup. I sorry. guess, so when it comes to maintenance, you, you know, where you do use the oil to clean the, uh, steel, the unit. steel unit with, uh, with the ceramic soap and water and then dry it 
rinse it or you know uh, rinse it and dry it and it is ready for the next use now uh, you do you do have to be careful like you said you don't want to use metal on it but pit boss has these amazing nylon uh, these big huge spatulas right. they have this nice scraper that it works for great for smash it's burgers it makes amazing. some great steaks on these things so we've, we've had some success with the wooden scraper as well we're yep. trying to get more of that so uh, that is so there are keys and what Brett touched on something that I think any griddle you get that you really have to realize maintenance is key. Mm -hmm. You have to take care of it, whether it's the ceramic or whether it's the steel unit. We've had people complain about both. The ceramic, oh, I went to go clean it the following day or a few days later and everything was stuck and now I can't get it off. Well, that was the problem. You didn't clean up right after the cook. You clean up a few days later. Uh, we all have that though. Sometimes we get tired. We, we're, we've eaten. We forget to get the griddle the next day. Yep. So with the steel unit, you might deal with rust after a few days, but cleanup and maintenance is key for either one. And another thing that, that is a misconception because people are like, man, that ceramic, there's no way it can be durable. It is durable as can be. And we've described it from Tommy from Gallery Backyard Barbecue. He said it and I was like, that's absolutely the best way to describe it. Like even the five burner is a tank. This thing is absolute absolutely a beast um one thing that we like about the the ultimates uh, also the the, the sierra yeah. is the liftoff feature so it has that right. but again to get back to the ceramic surface itself i absolutely enjoy yeah. cooking on it it is non-stick i've had my sierra for over a year now and it has it's still like right off the showroom floor it really is so. and that is key and one thing we always say too storage storing them it, it always helps brett has a nice garage where he's able to store and yep. pull out and cook and it makes a huge difference. Every time I go see, man, this looks so nice. Mine looks great too. My ultimate griddle uh, is holding up and doing awesome. So it's the same thing. We really love these and, and you can really go either way. In fact, yep. this weekend we did most of our cooks on the deluxe unit. The steel, but, uh -huh. but it's only because we had the, yeah, the steel unit because it was prepped and ready to go. So we really do use either and all of the units because yep. we love it all. Yep. But so talking on what we feel like is the ultimate solution. This is just our personal thoughts on this. Yep. Pit Boss recently released their new deluxe line. Everything from the two and three burner, the four burner and the five burner deluxe units, the three, four and five, all have replaceable ceramic units. They come four. with the steel. Yep but you can purchase you can a upgrade, ceramic. Yeah. You can upgrade to a ceramic unit. So you can, well, actually not even a unit. You can get uh, yeah, sorry, an extra top. Yeah, a ceramic top. top and then you can change out, exchange, and maybe do a comparison yourself. And so, uh, yeah, for, for a little bit more money, you can ha actually have the best of both worlds. So overall, the, the units are great. So by the way, we understand that price is an issue, so that might not be an option if you're looking for uh, a, a deluxe unit where you can have both the steel and ceramic tops. That said, which should you get? Yes. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. because we love all of griddle cooking. Again, taking care of it, maintenance and things like that. Uh, and what we have found, and you're gonna find in any griddle group, we're just being honest, there's gonna be complainers no matter what yep. they get. You're, you're gonna be find tons of people who complain about the steel units. You'll find tons of people who complain about the ceramic units. And, so. and in a lot of those groups, there's a lot of people that wanna help and they wanna find problems yes. to people's solutions. We're like, right. man, all we're doing is trying to help and you're not, you're not allowing that to happen. So uh, just remember that, that. it's but, key. Yeah, exactly. But bottom line, griddle cooking, it really simplifies outdoor cooking. It keeps the heat outside. It keeps the, the smell outside and uh, keeps anything that, that can be inside that makes it a little right. less enjoyable. Right. Enjoyable because you're outside for our, in this case, we're poolside. So it works. And I'll tell you what, if you're here watching this video now, that means you're interested in a griddle. Welcome to Griddle Nation. This is huge. This is something that is growing. In fact, so much so that how many companies now are jumping in and bringing in a griddle because they're realizing the investment is worth it? All it's, of them. I this think all of them. This isn't a fad. This isn't going away. Griddle cooking is here to stay. We're here for it. If you have any questions, we for sure always want to answer those questions. In fact, if this didn't even completely help you decide which is better for you, comment below or reach out to us, Facebook, Instagram. We always do our best to get back we, to all the comments. Yes, we, we try our best. Yes. Sometimes it's a bit overwhelming yes. because there's so many, but we do try. We appreciate it. All. We're here to help where we can. We love, like we said, we love griddle cooking. We love being a part of Griddle Nation and uh, just getting to come and share what we've learned. So overall, man, I don't know what else to add to this. Yeah, me either. Uh, if, if this video helped you, uh, maybe helped you understand a little bit more about the difference between the griddles or helped you make a decision, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is by purchasing one of our two cookbooks available now. It is grill season, it is griddle season, and what better way to get at it than 
from some of our favorite cooks. The Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook, obviously on a Amazon, anywhere books are sold. And our new book, Smashed. Smashed. Helping you with smash burgers and press sandwiches, desserts, and breakfasts, and more. We're yeah. so happy that we get to share these with you. Yes, yeah, so it was a, a lot of labor of love went into the both of books, and so uh, we, we hope you enjoy them. Right. Aside from coming and out, knocking out, or coming and sharing some hopefully good knowledge with with our, our favorite people in the world, yes. why else do we do all this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. Hey.